Kevin here from Fight Play TV with one devastating puncher with Diana Prazak from Australia who went up against Frida Wahlberg uh, and knocked her out silly, I have to admit, in the eighth round, correct? How do you feel? Um, I'm, I'm very happy to have the win, but very sad in my heart to, um, to see Frida be carried out like that. Uh, what, what does uh, are we gonna go into you know your camp compassion for for your opponent obviously but what does where does this win take you number one and you know where do you go from here I don't know I <laughs> let's ask Lucia Riker legendary barely needs any presentation there you go coach of Diana Prazak all the critics had her down seven to one every time she fights you know whatever they called her you know, all the, the everyone's against her basically. She reads all the internet. Everyone who wrote whatever they wrote, good or bad, she read it. She goes in there, we worked on a knockout. She's proven that she's a true champion. On our way up here in the preparation, we already signed a contract. She was gonna get two titles, WIBA defending her own title and the WBC. Then the WBC said no, you can't Yeah here, you can look here. WBC said no, we don't want the WIBA as well in the same match. So she got stripped from a WIBA title. Then they weren't sure if she was going to fight for WBC because she had to first say if she really wanted the WBC. I wanted her to have a choice to choose whatever belt she wants. We pushed, we had obstacles in the promotion. We didn't even know whether we were coming until the Thursday before departure, which was about four days. She pushed through, she's determined, she wanted it bad. No matter what, they kept making it harder and harder for us. We came to win on knockout. Only on knockout you can win in a hometown of anybody. This is not an amateur match. No. Diane has knockout power. No matter how behind on the score we were, we knew we were wearing the body down. So either the hands were going to drop or the hands were going to go up and she was going to go down on a body shot. So I'm so proud of Diane. I mean, she persevered. She got clocked in the first couple rounds. She didn't step back. And that was, she, she, the game plan was perfect. What was the game plan? Go into the game plan. Well, we weren't sure if Frida was going to run or not. We actually trained for both. We trained for her pushing forward and we trained actually for her running just like Holly Holmes. So we were prepared for both. She came, she wanted to show power. I heard her warm up with a 1-2 and a 1-2, slow 1-2-3. So we knew she was going to put the power on her. She can take it. So it was just a matter of staying consistent, letting her hands go to the body and the head at the same time. She had her hurt on the body a couple times, but she didn't have her feet on her immediately. And then you saw Frida run when she got hurt. So it was just a matter of time. And consistent you were, and uh, yes, yeah, she was. Now, again though, I have to repeat the question. Where, where does this win take her? W what is the next step for Diana? Well, we'd like to fight Jelena. There's another girl in New York that we, that we could fight. I mean, let her digest first. This was, was a really hard preparation of seven weeks. We worked our ass off, you know, to take this home. She can celebrate it. She can have a beer. You know, she had a very strict diet. I was really hard on her. I have to say, I'm a very strict trainer. She didn't get it for free. She had to work her ass off. And this is what you get when you work hard. And this is what you get. Let's go back, though, to your opponent. You know, obviously, as you mentioned, uh, something's happened. Obviously, you're happy for the win. And you, you said that at the same time, it's kind of hard to, you know, probably, you know, in full effect, go out and celebrate that win. We were celebrating in, in the ring as you're about. But we had no idea that... that well, free no, obviously, I understand fully. I, n I saw your reaction. Once you knew who she was, uh, you know, I saw you both of you go over to her corner. Now... What, what does that do to, to a fighter's mind? At, at the same time, you got this celebration going on in your mind, and then you're worried because you have this human com compassion for your opponent. We all, we all, I mean, everyone, every fighter knows every time they step in the ring that, that, that we have the possibility of getting hurt. We, we, all, we all take that risk every time we step into the ring. Um, it's, a, it's a really bittersweet win. Um, like Lucy said, we trained for the knockout, and yes, we got the knockout, um, but when, when you see the effects, in, in that sense of what happened, um, it, it, it takes the, the, the victory out of the win. It, it takes, um, yeah, that doesn't feel so good. Any, the win doesn't feel so good, you know. And um, you know, this the, you did a great fight, so did Frida. Mm. But all my respect to you for the win. And I would call you. I know you have a different nickname, Diana. Humble in victory, Prazak. That's you in my book. Thank, thank you. you so much, Diana. And congratulations thank again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. See ya. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. Could we have a